Tents are back in Tahrir. So too are the people and the spirit of Egypt's 18-day revolution. From across the political divide, they came under the banner Revolution First, united in the message they wanted to deliver. Five months after the revolution, the images of some of those killed hang on the streets overlooking Tahrir. But those responsible for their killings and injuries have yet to face justice. We don't want money. We've been robbed for the past 30 years. We want to regain our rights by punishment, justice and law. The lack of punishment and the exoneration of former Mubarak era ministers have been a rallying cry for Friday's protest, with many calling for the execution of the former president. Absent from the streets, Egyptian police or security forces ordered to stay away from the protest location to avoid any confrontations. Volunteers man security at entry points and set up mobile clinics, reminiscent scenes that symbolize the revolution's cooperative spirit. Leaders from the Muslim Brotherhood who originally refused to endorse the protests had a change of heart and threw their support fully behind the protesters. As long as the demands of protests enjoy national consensus and not divisive demands, we will always be the first to go to Tahrir and the last to leave. Despite the scorching heat, tens of thousands turned up in cities across the country, including Suez and Alexandria, making Friday's protests the largest in Egypt since Mubarak was ousted from power in February.